my channel or if you're new, welcome thank you so much for joining in my name is Natalia and I make videos all about beauty fashion and lifestyle and today I know we have a back-to-back -back video here with the Shein haul and today's another Shein haul but this is the kind of stuff that you guys love the most is what I've seen you guys love purchasing from Shein the most and I love it too because they are so affordable such good quality for the price that you're getting and I just love how many trendy pieces you can find but once again Shein did go ahead and send over some pieces for me to try out and then I went ahead and purchased some as well to get a more well-rounded haul for you guys and I have discussed before in other videos what I shop on Shein for, how I shop on Shein and everything like that. So I will go ahead and link those previous videos down below as well. I love getting pieces on Shein that are super trendy, things that I'm probably not going to wear like a ton of times, nothing that's going to last me a lifetime, but just really cute trendy pieces that I can wear for a season or two. So I'm very excited to share these pieces with you guys today. I do still have a code with them. You can use code NataliaC15, I believe. I'll leave it here on the screen. That does give you 15% off your purchase. It's not like an affiliate code or anything. Anything. I don't get anything from that code whenever you use it. It is simply just a perk for you to save some money. So definitely make sure you guys use that code at checkout to save some money. Of course, off of their already crazy cheap prices. Just before we go ahead and jump into the video today, don't forget to follow me on Instagram. I am Baby Bottles and Beauty on Instagram. It's just a better way for me to connect with you guys. You guys see my everyday life on stories, all that fun stuff, styling sessions, stuff like that. So make sure you go ahead and follow me over there. And also don't forget to subscribe so you can see all the videos from me and also hit the notification bell so that you're the first to know whenever I put out a new video. But now, without further ado, we can go ahead and jump into the video. So just before we get into these pieces, we're actually going to start with tops, then we're going to get into dresses and accessories. I wanted to let you guys know I am currently 34 and a half weeks pregnant, so I do have quite the bump here, <laughs> so some stuff is getting a little bit short on me. However, I went ahead and shopped in the straight sizes, the plus sizes, and they also have a maternity line, which I think is amazing. So I have quite a variety here today today but of course these are going to be curvy girl maternity anything like that friendly which is amazing I love shopping on Shein for their broad sizes as well um, but just wanted to let you know because some of these things are getting a little bit short on me but anyways let's go ahead and get into this very first top here this is from the straight size line and I am wearing an extra large in this one I can really wear anything from any of their lines really just depending on the fabric type the measurements everything like that I'm not one true size in Shein because their stuff kind of ranges quite widely <laughs> across the size range so it really just depends on the exact measurements for each one and the fabric and if it has stretch all that good stuff which I've talked about before but this very first top is from their straight size line and I'm wearing extra large in it it's this really cute little I don't know what kind of top this is called it's not baby doll necessarily but it does come up here um, and it does kind of cut in like halfway up my boob so it's not like right underneath my bust so it kind of I don't know I have to get used to the fit of it it's not tight by any means it's just the fit is kind of different for me up here but nonetheless it is very cute I love how flowy it is this right here so you can see it's kind of a short on me because of my bump but I feel like this would be perfect if I wasn't pregnant I love how the sleeves flow out a little bit kind of giving you a bell sleeve and I feel like this is not only perfect for like spring and summer with some shorts or jeans but you can definitely translate this one into work into the office you can wear it with jeans, you know, if you're more of a casual environment, or you can dress it up with some slacks. It is definitely more of a normal, like, chiffon material, no stretch to it at all, but it does fit me perfectly. I don't feel uncomfortable. My arms fit, and my arms are definitely on the bigger side, so I always get nervous with tops like this, but it fits perfectly. And this is what the back here looks like. Just kind of has that little peplum type of top there and flows out, and I just thought this green was so pretty, and this will actually be perfect for fall time as well, especially because it's long sleeves um, but the color and the floral little pattern here is just so pretty it would be perfect for fall um, but I went ahead and just paired up with some shorts for a little summer look with a little headband in which we will talk about these later on in the video but this top is really cute definitely recommend this this one. next top is just absolutely adorable I am so sad that it's too short and doesn't fit my bump but it is just absolutely precious and darling I love the sleeves on here and the color everything about it is perfect this one is from their plus size line I am wearing a 0xl in this one 
and I cannot wait to not be pregnant to wear this because it is friggin' adorable and it will definitely fit when I don't have a baby bump. So this one honestly could fit for like a tiny bump, like right at the beginning of your pregnancy when like you're kind of showing, but not really, you know, like kind of in that in-between stage. Um, but I think it'd be so cute with some white denim or even like these little denim cutoff shorts here. These I will also link down below. I'm not sure if they're still in stock, but they are from Target. They're not maternity, but they fit me perfect and I love them. Um, but I'm just wearing the Bella band with it. So that is what you see here underneath <laughs> where my belly is poking out. But this top is so cute, so comfortable, so lightweight. Again, it is that chiffon material. And I just think these little sleeves here are absolutely precious. And this color is adorable. And honestly, you could bring them if you wanted to do like a little off the shoulder look. I don't think it's meant to be that way, but you could definitely do that. Um, and they stay put because they're elasticized. So love that. <laughs> Let me fix the sleeve here so we're not looking so crazy, but it has a little smock top here on the bust. Um, and then the rest just kind of flows out. So it's really, really pretty. This is what the back looks like here. Same thing. Um, just really, really cute. And this color is absolutely perfect for the summertime, you guys. I'm gonna go to the beach. I wanna go on a summer vacation. I'm gonna go out to dinner in this. It looks so cute. Definitely be seeing me in this uh, on my Instagram once I have baby boy because this is just too freaking cute and I cannot wait to wear it without a baby bump. So anyways, this one's really cute. Absolutely love it. 10 out of 10 recommend for sure. So this very next top here is actually from the maternity line, but honestly, I'm going to be wearing this even when I'm not pregnant because it doesn't have any real maternity features. I just think they kind of take clothes that could fit a baby bump and kind of put that into the maternity line. I don't think there's anything real specific about it that makes it maternity besides the fact that you have like a little bit of extra room here in the belly area but regardless it's adorable I'm wearing this in an extra large that's the only other thing about their maternity line they don't go higher than an extra large I believe I could be wrong but from everything that I was scouring on their site I didn't find anything larger than an extra large in their maternity line so just keep that in mind but anyways this is an adorable top I was going for really like girly springy summery pieces that were just like very like classic summer pieces I don't know I just think it's adorable I love the little eyelet details on here and I've been wanting like a white little top like this because I don't have anything like it unfortunately and I'm so happy that I finally have it in my closet because it is absolutely adorable I love it love, love it so this one does fit my 34 week bump because you do have a little bit more of fabric there this is what the back looks like um, let me just show you guys here it has a little button here that you can do the hook and eye a little closure or not hook and eye you know like a little button detail there on the back but the back looks uh, pretty identical to the front with like that tiered detail and I love the sleeves they flow out and then they kind of have little detail here on the sleeves I don't know if you can see right there but it is just such a cute top this one I would definitely wear a tank with like right now I have the belly band on so it acts as a tank top but I would definitely wear something underneath just because it is a little sheer um, and you might be able to see like where your pants are and everything which I'm not usually a fan of so I like how it looks with this little belly band on or just a tank underneath but such a cute little top and this one would look so cute with these little denim cutoffs and then some espadrilles a little straw hat I just ran into this little clothing rack we're just gonna ignore that but it is such a cute top I absolutely love this one I cannot wait to style this one and take some pictures for the gram how stinking cute is this next little tank here this one has the adjustable little ties on the shoulders I'm clearly not wearing the right bra just don't mind that I say that in every video because honestly I don't own a strapless bra I have not yet found a good strapless bra currently on the hunt but anyways don't mind the straps here but I do love that you can adjust the little tank top sharp so you can tie them and I just get like a cute little bow here on the shoulders which is just adorable and then this little piece here is smocked and then you can kind of adjust that to however long you want it to be depending on like where your bra is and everything like that but definitely fits the 34 week bump currently and this one is just so cute so lightweight I love the little Dalmatian print on it um, this is what the back looks like just basically the same here a little bit longer in the back I don't know if I mentioned it but this is actually from their straight size line and I am wearing an extra large in it fits me perfectly as you can see here because my bump kind of makes it come up a little bit in the front this is how long it would normally be on me um, so I think I could adjust the straps to make it a little bit tight high, like higher up so it's not as long or anything like that but I just think this is absolutely adorable it's so freaking cute and it's bump friendly which is amazing but this is the absolute perfect tank top for summer because it's so lightweight and breezy and it just feels so nice on and it's just cute it's white you can dress it up you can dress it down so many things you can do here with this one and it's just real cute I am in love with this one 
as I am with every piece, as always. Alright, so now we're gonna get into a couple more casual pieces here. I went ahead and got some little graphic and band tees because I've been in love with them and they're so comfy and cute. This one is from the plus size line and I'm wearing a 2XL in this one because I did want to have room for the bump and have it be like longer once I'm not pregnant to be able to wear with bike shorts. Um, the bump does bring it up just a little bit here so I wouldn't really wear it with bike shorts right now. However, once I'm not pregnant and I'm trying to be comfy and cute and casual, this will be really cute with some bike shorts. But nonetheless, it is still really cute, fits me. It's nice and soft. The graphic is nice, looks identical to what's online because sometimes, you know, you see something and you're like, okay, that's a really cute graphic. And then you get the tea and you're like, that does not look the same as what it was online, but it is really cute. Just says Billy Joel. Honestly, I probably know some Billy Joel songs. I just don't know any like that are coming to my mind right now. I just thought the graphic was honestly really cute with like the little cityscape and the stars and the lettering. All of it is just real cute, but you can wear it with some jean shorts, some vans, a little ball cap, just be cute and casual. Um, but yeah, really cute. Nothing much to say other than it's just cute little tee. These are also really great too if you wanna like bleach dye them or like distress them up because they're all so cheap. They can do whatever you want to them and make them even cuter. So really cute. I do have a whole highlight of that over on my Instagram. So make sure you check that out if you want to see like how I bleach dye, how I distress my teens, all that kind of stuff. So check it out over there. But this one's just a cute little band tee. Love it. So now that I put this one on, this next tee, I actually noticed with the last one, the fit of the t-shirt was definitely more of like a unisex fit where it doesn't give you like too much shape or anything like that. It's just a plain old t-shirt. But this one, still from the plus size line and a 2XL, it's just a little more of like a feminine fit. So I think it's really cute. It says a feeling good and then it has little Rolling Stones mouth and tongue with a little leopard on it, which is adorable. So this one's really cute. I actually want to distress this one. Maybe, maybe, maybe add some bleach dye to it. We shall see, but it is just really cute. This one is definitely a softer tee also than the last one. Um, and yeah, really cute. This one definitely comes up just a little bit shorter on me since it is more of a feminine fit and cut to it, but really cute nonetheless. And this one is just, it's so trendy. It's so trendy and cute. You need this one, you need it. Okay, so here we have just a little throw on hoodie pullover. Um, this one, I don't know, I'm not in love with it. I think it's because it doesn't look good on the bump. It's more of like an athletic type of feel. Like it's not normal cotton material, but it is really nice and lightweight. And I feel like this will be great for the beach. Like if you're wanting to go out to the beach and you wanna stay covered up if it's like a cooler, breezier day, um, but you don't wanna be in like hot cotton. I feel like this would be perfect. It's kind of like that athletic dry fit sweat wicking type of material. Um, I just don't think I love it with my bump because it comes up a little higher here. It's a little bit tight, um, like not tight, but a little more form fitting. And I just don't really love how it looks. I feel like it's just not that flattering. But once I don't have a bump, this will be really cute with these denim shorts, some little sneakers, ball cap going out the door, running some errands. And I'm not gonna like sweat to death, even though it's like long sleeve and it's a hoodie. It's that material, it's so unique. It's not like normal cotton material. And I actually really like it because it is very, very stretchy and very lightweight. So anyways, really cute. I'm wearing a zero XL in this one. It is from their plus size line. Love it, just not with a bump right now. <laughs> okay, so now we're headed into the dresses. I can't even keep it together, you guys. This clearly does not fit my baby bump, but I still wanted to bring it on because it is such a cute freaking dress and I am so upset that it doesn't fit my bump. However, it will fit perfectly once I am not pregnant anymore. And if I would have ordered a size up, it probably would have fit me even better. I don't know. Not sure though. Might have still been a little bit tight here with these little tears and with this huge old baby in here. <laughs> so this one is from their straight size line and I'm wearing a size large in it. Uh, I clearly, clearly <laughs> over uh, or underestimated I should have said uh, if this would have fit or anything but it is a really cute little tear dress here I know you can't get the best picture with it because of uh, the tightness here but this little bow here it is not adjustable or anything it's just kind of there for a decoration but I love the sleeves on it I love the little neckline here this does not have like a button or anything so you kind of want to just be careful with that I feel like if I would have got a size up to this would have been too big on me and it would have been like too loose here on the chest area but yeah really cute dress just uh, clearly clearly doesn't fit me and my 34 week child in here so <laughs> it's perfect for summer this would be perfect for a summer wedding if you are going to one um, this is just absolutely adorable so cute so lightweight and such good quality for how cheap it was you guys I just <laughs> I'm so sad. My baby's about to bust through this trip. <laughs> All right, so this next one just reminded me of 4th of July. Unfortunately, by the time I get this video up, you probably won't be able to order it and get it in time for the 4th or like 4th festivities and all that. However, you could check and see if they have expedited shipping.
clothing and whatnot. But uh, anyways, it's this really cute little spaghetti strap dress. Uh, I'm not wearing the right bra, so I'm gonna throw a little denim jacket over it. And this is how I would style it anyways, but the little spaghetti straps are adjustable, so you can go ahead and make them tighter, looser, whatever you wanna do there. Um, but it's just really cute. It's not like it's stretchy, but for like a pregnancy bump, like I don't think I'll be able to wear it any further than 34 weeks pregnant. I'll have to wait until like I'm not pregnant and I'm feeling more comfortable, you know, wearing a body con dress and whatnot. But it is really cute and this is definitely something that I would wear for the fourth. This one can be styled a couple of different ways. You know, these dresses you can wear with sneakers, sandals, little ball cap, denim jacket, anything like that. Just really cute. Um, but it's just a basic little body con dress. Um, and this one is from the straight size line and I'm wearing an extra large. So fits the 34 week bump as of now. Um, but yeah, really cute. Just reminds me of 4th of July and I love it. And the very last dress here is this really cute little tiered baby doll style type of dress. It is so freaking cute. This one is from the maternity line. But again, I just don't think there's really much signifying it as maternity other than the fact that you just have a little bit of extra fabric here in the front. So definitely look in the maternity section because they have some cute stuff honestly that's not in their normal line but anyways this is in the size extra large it is just a little bit big here these straps here are adjustable i just want to show you guys again the bra situation <laughs> is not uh, the right one but i can adjust these just a little bit more and i would probably have a perfect fit here but it's a little hard when i'm trying to like get back there with this bump it's just it's a whole thing. So anyways, I threw on this little hat with it because I feel like it'd be perfect. Also, if you've been eyeing that purse, that purse, I'm going to show you guys in a second, but that would go perfectly with this. I think it's so cute. And then this one is a linen material, so it is going to get wrinkly, so you just have to steam it out. But it does come with like a little lining here, so it's not see-through at all, honestly. Um, and I just think it's so cute, so lightweight. Again, don't mind the bra. Let's just... We're gonna throw on a denim jacket with it because this is how I would style it, honestly. Okay, so this is actually how I would style it just because I love a little denim jacket with a white dress. And I know I'm gonna get questions about this jacket. This is from Walmart last spring, I wanna say. <laughs> and this color and like distressing is actually no longer available on their website. However, I will link some other denim jackets that I like down below. There's one from Old Navy that is super similar. But anyways, I just like the light wash with the white. I thought it was cute. Okay, so let's go ahead and get into some accessories here. You guys, this first you've probably been eyeing it in the background. Can you believe that this is from Shein? How freaking adorable is this? I absolutely love it. When I saw it, I was like, there's no way it's gonna look like that in person, but it does. So this is really, really pretty for summer because it's like that wicker kind of basket material. Really, really cute. The quality is amazing on here, and then it has little double circles here, kind of giving you the Gucci vibes, but without being faux Gucci, of course. But really cute, it has a double flap here. So you open it up, you have another flap. This is just for decoration though, and then you open it up here, everything's inside probably take out the paper now but <laughs> that is what the inside looks like it's just plain black says Shein on it and then this little zipper here you can zip that up if you want put it back a little clasp oh my god am I dumb the answer is yes <laughs> back looks like here just that plain straw material and then this little strap here is a gold chain which I think is really cute really nice um, and then you can just either make it longer or if you want to do a little shoulder bag like so to have a really cute little shoulder bag or if you wanted to make it longer and have it go a little bit longer there do crossbody whatever you want to do really cute I think it'll be the perfect size to put in like wallet phone some lip gloss you know the essentials but I just thought this one was adorable and I cannot believe this is from Shein. If there is one thing that you get from this video, this has to be my favorite because it's only $19 and the quality is actually insane. Like, flawless for 19 bucks? I can't, I can't. 10 out of 10, this is the winner. Again, I always talk about how much I love Shein accessories because they're so friggin' cheap, just like that purse. $19 and the quality is insane. So anyways, I got this four pack of headbands. I love their heads, like their hair accessories, headbands, all that stuff. They always have such cute patterns. Um, these are more of like a, not like silk material, but like really soft, nice chiffon material, um, just with these little floral patterns and these two colors here, real cute. That was like under five bucks, I wanna say. Um, and then this little scarf here that I tied to my bag. This obviously is a hair scarf. Well, I don't know if it's very obvious, but it is a hair scarf, but you can tie it on a bag as well if you want. Um, that's very trendy, but I just thought this little pattern here was really cute. It is nice silk material, and it's like a blush nude, and it just has that bandana pattern on it, but it's not as tacky. Not as tacky. I don't want to say tacky. It's not as like 
bandana casual type of <laughs> look to it because it is silky. So you can throw this in your hair, you can throw it around if you wanna do this whole little thing that people are doing now. This is not my thing. <laughs> but the little like neck scarf thing, I don't know, I'm not really into this, but I've seen a lot of people pull it off and it's cute. Um, you can tie it on a bag, tie it in your hair, ponytail, hair up, hair down, whatever you wanna do. I just thought it was really cute and it's crazy cheap. So they have a ton of stuff like this. So definitely check them out for their accessories because they're the best. Of course, we're gonna end off with some earrings here because they always have the cutest earrings. Um, let me start with this first pair. It is this little like, let me take them out of the bag. All right, so this is what the very first pair looks like. Really cute little hoops. Not like hoops, but you know, little studs here that'll go in. I've just always been a pearls person, like ever since I could remember. Literally like middle school, I always wore pearls. They're not real, they're fake. I've always had fake pearls. I don't think I'll ever really have real pearls. <laughs> I am not good with my jewelry at all. Like I'm scared to lose my rings and like, you know, scuff them up and hurt and mess them up and all that stuff. Uh, but I don't really spend that much money on jewelry. So I love these. I think these will be a great little everyday earring. Um, and they're just so cute, sparkly. Really dainty, love these. This next pair here is such a cute little trendy piece, perfect for spring and summer. I love the rainbow print on them. So look really cute with this dress too. Just like add a little pop of color, love these. All right, and then these last ones are these Huggies. So I have been wanting to get a little pair of these. So let's see if I can get it on here with the viewfinder. <laughs> I have been wanting a little faux. <gasps> They're so cute. Oh my God, I love that. I don't know if you guys can see it as well, but how stinking cute is that? And it just like sits on your ear. I think that is so cute. So yeah, those are really cute. Um, comes in a little two pack here. Um, and this little design here, I don't know if you can tell within the bag, but it kind of does that little like crisscross infinity type of thing. Um, these I will likely be losing. <laughs> within a week or two because they're so tiny <laughs> and I'll probably lose them that's why I don't spend a lot on jewelry but anyways I love shopping on there for jewelry because their stuff is like five dollars or less usually on their earrings and really cute trendy accessories um so yeah all right guys that's going to be it for today's video thank you so much for joining and then watching I really hope you guys enjoyed don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up if you did and let me know down below what was your favorite piece from today's haul what kind of videos you want to see let me know down below don't forget to follow me over on Instagram and don't forget to subscribe so you can see all the videos from me and with that I will see you guys in my next one bye